Welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. So last time I helped out the Brotherhood. I'm just going to poke her a little bit around um, my car in here. See if there's any more fiends I can finish off with the 44 Magnum. Or baseball bat. Purely so I can get a certain achievement from the Gunrunner's Arsenal. And then let me go over to... Then I'm going to go over to the... Um, what you, NCR Embassy and see if there's anything there I can do to help. Ooh, fiends. Nope. Missed. Uh -oh. I'm not sure if I actually got the guy there. Got that one. Look like you need the help there. Glad that's over. Yeah, don't blame you. More twenty gauge. Well, that would be very nice. Another one who got taken out by these NCR or troopers. Good. Like to see that. Some mines around here to disarm. I don't remember if there's any if there's any ash around here. Probably not. Oh, yeah, still a couple of fiends out this way. Three more. Yeah, I'm going to do something really stupid. And that was them completely sorted. That was kind of pointless, but hey, what the hell? You need to do something like this from time to time just for the sheer fun of it. So I have no more reason to really keep that revolver or the baseball bat. Oh, to the gun runners! And then off to the ambassador. Actually, I'm going to do something about the, about the tops. They might need a few uh, acts since I did cause them a bit of hassle. Who thought it was a good idea to give the robots missile launchers? That would be your boss, Mr. House. But who thought it was a good idea to give the robots missile launchers? I just said. Off. I don't know where the guy is. 
Hang loose, baby. Ah, wrong door. This way. Top's restaurant. Here to the bar. Mm. Buy some wine while I'm at it. You, drink? you bet. I'm Bars. Of course, I do need to cook that somewhere, but I can do that. Now let's have a look. Ah, uh, no. This is the wrong place. Just, oh, yeah, it's the other way. Hey, there's the high roller. God damn it. I never remember where to go here. Oh, yeah, the theater. This guy right here, this is the guy. Oh, me three. Swank fill me in about Benny. Hell of a thing, baby. Hell of a thing. What about this theater, actually? Well, it was my idea. Well, me and the rest of the Rad Pack boys. We took it to Benny, and he thought it was a good idea. A few years later... What do you do here? Well, apart from serving as a talent man, every night from eight... Really? What kind of entertainment do you have? Well, acts are a bit thin on the songs. Looking for some more acts? I can probably give a hand. Sure, baby, sure. Tommy's always looking for new... Tell you what, you see any good acts while... Just swing... Sure, I'll keep an eye out. Hmm. This should give me a little bit of a... A little bit of extra XP. Yeah, it really is a bit empty. Let's see what this gentleman here has to say. Hey, come on, pal. I'm trying to put on a show here. I uh, got a few questions for you. All right, but make it snappy, kid. Actually, uh, Tommy Torini at the top is hiring chairs. Put in a word for you. Yeah? Hey, you're all right. Just... Sure, here's his cards. Where else? Hmm... Uh, yeah, there's probably someone at the Atomic Wrangler now I think about it. And then there's that lonesome drifter guy somewhere else. Ready? Do 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 do. I keep flipping around a lot between quests because my attention span isn't great. I don't think I have ADHD, or as far as I know. Give the king a little bit of hand there. They saw McGranger, there might be one or two people here. Have you seen the new Securitron upgrades? I pity anyone who gets testy with those bots now. Hmm. Whoa, baby. Am I look Excuse me? What? You mean you're not part of the act? So you perform stand up comedy, huh? Yeesh, is my act. Well, judging from the state of reside, they can't be paying you that much. Okay, I admit it. I ain't exactly rowing in caps here. But what do you want? I'm under contract. I can't get out. Well, Tommy Torini is hiding you act to the top, so you might be able to get some good money there. Too bad I got this ironclad contract with the Garretts. They'll never let me out of it. Let them let, try and let them convince you to go. Huh. Good luck. Hmm. Well, I've done some work for these guys, so we'll see. 
Hey, James. Welcome back, friend. What can I get you? Actually, I'd like to get Hadrian out of his contract. Now, why would I want to do that? He's not quite the right fit for this place. The flying pressure before. I suppose you've got a point. Clear hands. Any luck with Garrett yet? Yeah, he owes me. He owes me a few favors. Let me to free to let you out of it. You'll work at the tops. Really? Clear round. Oh yeah, I need to head down to Novak as well, because there's a guy down there. No, it must be the one. Don't kill me. I swear I'll have. Wait, you, you don't. No, I don't. What makes you think that? Sorry, it's just you look like his type. You know, you got that hard-ass wasteland explorer thing going on. Hey, aren't you that singer from Urino? I saw you play the clubs there. Oh, so you have heard of me? Yeah, that's right. Uh, I was the big draw at the Shark Club. People used to pay hundreds of caps to see me. So why'd you come all the way out here from New Reno? You don't know Mr. Bishop. He's not like other bosses up there. He knows the wasteland like the back of his hand. I knew if I didn't get way the hell away from... Why would he be after you? Oh, well, that's all just a big misunderstanding, see? Mr. Bishop, well, he owed me a lot of money. And, uh, you know, he's a busy guy. So I sort of figured I'd just take it off his hand. You robbed a casino boss? Robbed is such an ugly word. It's more like I took care of a payroll problem for him. Also, I might have uh, sort of plowed his daughter. A little. Wow. My hat is off to you. That takes some balls. Thanks. But if Bishop finds me and I don't have his money, my balls are going to be on his trophy wall. Well, if you're looking for work, Tommy Torini is hiring singers at the Tops. Really? The Tops, huh? Well, it's no shark club, but I hear security on the strip is real tight. I'll check it out. Be around. Talk about... Talk about... Poor life choices. Here for Legionnaires? Nope. Yeah, I'm getting just a little bit paranoid about them. Oh, just fire ants. I'll bother with them. And here's the last one. Well, howdy, there. howdy there, partner. Mighty fine guitar you got there. Oh, this old thing? Why, thanks, friend. This here guitar is just about the only... You've been playing long? Just about my whole life. Ever since my daddy left Ma and me and went off to roam the wastes. Well, Tommy Tarini at the top is looking for musical acts, if you're interested. Son, where I come from, a man doesn't just walk... No game. I just offered to keep an eye out for talented acts is all. Uh-huh. Sorry. What's your story, then? My story's a long one, friend, and I... Eh, I'm interested anyway. Well, I was born in a little town out Montana way. Me and Ma didn't have much. What, did he abandon you? That he did. Never did know why. Ma always said he was a real mysterious fella, even when he was with her. Like he was a stranger sometimes. Hmm. Sounds like you miss him. That way you out here. Maybe. Maybe I just never felt like I belonged back home. 
been hard growing up with Adam. It sure wasn't easy. After Ma died, I guess I wanted to find my pa and get some answers from him. Been out here looking ever since, but he ain't an easy man to find. What will you do when you find him? Can't say as I really know. Maybe I'll just ask him why. Maybe I'll punch him right in the mouth. Hell, the more I talk about it, the more the whole damn thing sounds like a dumb idea. Sounds like she should move on. Settle down, maybe. Maybe I should. Don't suppose you know any place a fellow with a guitar might find a job, huh? Well, yeah. The tops. Hmm. Maybe it's... Here, take his card. That's all I sent you. So that is the mis possibly the mysterious stranger's son. Which is going to piss off Nick Valentine. I don't know why those free site thugs bother. Now let's go up to the tops and see what's going on over there. Yeah, this is going to be a little bit of a shorter episode than usual, but I probably do need a few shorter ones. Bruce Isaac. Adrian the Ghoul of Gaffaws. Really nice. The Lonesome Drifter. Put this air. Ain't that a kick in the head? Oh, well, there goes one of them. Get some caps out of this. We we'll also get some beans are running for their life. Hey, hey, welcome, welcome. Talk about the axe I recruited. The cowboy axe. Yeah, he dropped on in here not too long before you. He's got chops, baby, real chops. And I ain't just talking about that mustache. And like we agreed, here's your fee. Three percent of the cut comes to a hundred caps. The other ones. You talking about Mr. Isaac? Damn, baby, when you bring them in, you bring them in. That comedian, you mean? Yeah, he practically bit. This comes to three fifteen hundred cats for Billy. He's worth three times that. Baby. What about the last one? That ugly mug with the razor tongue. Dig it, baby. Sounds great. Here and. Right. I'm just seven in the morning, so I have to go see what the uh, ambassador wants. I'm to go home, sleep that off, soldier. I don't actually have to get jumped by someone. I think there might be a quest involving that guy in there, but I can't, but I've never done it. What is it? Ambassador? It's good to have a friend of the NCR. You mentioned another assignment. So I did. As you may have noticed, our position here in New Vegas is tenuous. We've made great strides, sure, but the NCR is not welcome here, merely tolerated. And even then, not by everyone. We've had reports of violence against NCR citizens in a neighborhood just to the northeast called Freeside. Ever been there? I have. It's a slum. I'm inclined to agree, but it's a slum with NCR citizens in it. And as such, it falls under my jurisdiction. Violence is something of a way of life there, but there's been a disturbing rise in the number of attacks on our people lately. More worrying is the fact that our sources suggest the violence is being perpetrated by the gang that runs the place. The Kings. I need someone to look into this that won't attract attention. Would you be interested? 
there. I'll look into us. Good. Our men have come up with two different plans for seeing an end to the violence. First, our sources have tracked most of the attacks back to a king named Pacer. The consensus is that the violence will stop if he's removed. The problem is we can't simply kill him. In the current climate, the NCR would likely be blamed for his death. There is an alternative option, but my sources feel that getting rid of this Pacer fellow is our best shot. What's my other choice? I'm not a violent man myself, so I had our guys come up with an alternate solution. In that case, we could take a different tack, but one that I at least have more experience with. Diplomacy. If we can't go after the man responsible, we'll simply appeal to the man above him. The gang. Kings, including our friend Pacer, report to the leader of their gang. What do I need to do? Go and talk to the king. Try to convince him to put an end to the... The king might not be open to the idea at first. When it's done... I'll go have a talk with the king. I wish you luck. If you run into some difficulty and think you'd rather just take the shot with Pacer, that's fine too. Well... How do I want to deal with this? Boss have enough firepower to arm a full platoon. Hmm. How do I want to do this? I want to try the diplomatic way, or do I just want to get rid of that pacer guy? Honestly, Pacer's a bit of a bit of a prick. But if I went around gunning down everyone I thought was a prick, I'd be here all week. All month. All year. I may as well do this because it'll be very quick and then call the episode there. Another thug. Reach that. Yeah. Sir. I've got my eye on you. You cross the king. Hi. Hmm. Bedroom. There's a way to get rid of. Things are tense on the strip right now. The head of one of Mr. House's families was killed. Time to lay low, you ask me. Good advice in general. Hmm, a lot of king's outfits. Don't need those. I seem to recall hearing that it's possible to spike Pacer's jet.
Which place is oh, here? King owes me a favor. I'll go talk with him. I'm not even sure where Pacer's bedroom is for this. Here? Ah, screw it. Let's just do it. Bathrooms. Let's just do it the different way. I can actually figure out where the goddamn stairs are. Down here. My sense of direction seems to be a bit messed up in doors. You want your hair done too? No, 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 the kings are many, and their hair must be perfect. You know why I'm opening every door? Dang. Things have been a lot better since you helped with those soldier boys. I need you to stop the violence against NCR citizens. Whoa. That's a doozy. Truth be told, I don't even know if I can pull something like that off. Kings will will follow your leadership. Damn straight they will. It's some of the other locals that I'm worried about. On second thought, if I can whip this band of hooligans into obedience, a stray tough guy or two shouldn't be a problem. Okay, you've got a deal. No more violence against the NCR on my watch. But this makes us even, you hear? I hear. I think the ambassador is going to be happy enough. Ash, so the embassy to give him the good news. And here we are. Master? Ah, hello. I trust you have something to report concerning the Freeside situation? Yeah, I did, actually. Yes, do you have something to report? I spoke to the king. He promised to stop the violence against NCR citizens. That's great to hear. He's got a lot of sway in Freeside, so we can expect a dramatic drop in violence soon. Now, he owes me a favor. Wondering about your reward. This has been something of a hot button topic, so I was able to secure this for you. Have to be a service. I received a message from Colonel Moore up at Hoover Dam. She's been following your exploits and has requested that you meet with her. You're not officially in the employ of the NCR, so the Colonel is not. Okay. Right. Probably help you. Nah, I'm grand. Right. Well, let's head over to Boulder City this summer and then end the episode there. So, uh, yep, yeah. end this episode here. See what the Colonel wants next time. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye right for now.